All right, gang. Today I have a 2001 Toyota Highlander with a V6 in it. That a friend of mine owns it, and he was driving it down the road, and um, it started acting weird, didn't want to shift right, and uh, seemed to be very low on power. And uh, it also had a check engine light come on, and I have a, a simple scanner. Um, I scanned it, and I believe it was a P07, uh, I think is what the code was. Um, either way, it came up that it was knock sensor bank two. So, this is a new knock sensor. Now, from what I've seen on blogs and different things, it says to change not only this sensor, but to also change the wiring harness that goes to it. And I believe he uh, went, I think he went to Toyota and he's getting the wiring harness as well. Um, this does have 280,000 miles on it, so that could play into it having problems. Um, but what I'm going to have to do is remove this cover and dig in and see if I can not access the old one. Um, I do have a little bit of information. <clears throat> I have a picture from All Data, um, and in that it says item K3, which is down there. If I follow that up, it's in the middle uh, of this diagram, and hopefully I don't have much trouble getting to it or changing it, but uh, we'll see. Well, that was different. Um, I pulled out these three Allen head bolts or loosened them up, tried to lift this cover and it didn't want to come up. That little Toyota emblem is actually a retainer. It's a bolt. Threads onto, whoops, there's a nut I should say, threads onto that little bolt right there. Just thought that was interesting. I wonder how many people snap those off. Okay, so I've unplugged the uh, wire connectors to the coil packs on the spark plugs on this side. There's three. Also to the injectors down there. And then this sensor, this plug in right here. I don't know what that one is, but that goes to there. And uh, I'll just keep pulling off little plugs and disconnecting things and get this wiring out of the way and then move on. Okay. Um, I've removed that support brace that went between the two strut towers. I've disconnected the uh, cruise control. I believe it's cruise control linkage. It was in that slot right there. And it just looped around and went into this uh, little hole right here. Pretty simple on that one. But get that out of the way. I've gotten the wiring, bulk of the wiring out of the way. And now the hard part is gonna be getting this plenum loose so that I can get to the actual intake manifold down here. Um, just gotta keep moving stuff and getting it out of the way. To make things simpler, I went ahead and, and removed the uh, top half of the air box. It had uh, two hoses connected to the uh, throttle body or intake and uh, several hoses, and they all seem to be marked, which is nice, yellows and blues and reds, so that they can be plugged back onto the box. Um, I'm going to try to get this plenum loose. I don't want to take it completely off. I'm just going to unbolt it and try to lift it up so it's up and out of the way. And that way I don't have to disconnect a bunch of other things. So um, I'm going to drive on. Well, I've made it this far. It wasn't very easy. Um, this is a lot more challenging than working on a 72 Chevy pickup. But um, I got it out. Well, I got the intake out of the way, and down here, I know it's hard to see, let me grab a flashlight. Down here, this is uh, one connector is on the rear bank uh, knock sensor, and then here is the front bank. Hard to see, but there's also been something living down here. So. Um, the next step is going to be to get this hose out of the way, but well, let me show you what I had to do to get this apart. Um, there's the plenum. And the hardest part about taking this plenum off was on the back side, this, this brace. This part ran down, down here to the engine block. There was a wiring harness connected here. There was a ground wire connected here. There was another uh, uh, brace or something connected here. And there were two ground wires out here on this. And uh, the problem is you can't get 
a wrench on this because the firewall is right up against it and you can't get between it with a well you can't get in it with a socket there's no space not enough depth and the uh, wrench there's no way to get a wrench in there because the bolts behind the plate so I had to take it off of the engine and then separate these other things so when I you know overall I disconnected the throttle body from the plenum I disconnected the plenum from uh, the intake manifold and had to take all the other pieces away from it and now I've taken the intake manifold off and now I've got to get down in here and take this hose out of the way that looks like it connects uh, something with the water jacket water pump somehow so I'll get that out of the way and then I'll get to the actual knock sensors piece of cake okay the two new uh, knock sensors are in place there's the new wiring harness it's in a little connector right there and then a, or a holder let's say and runs out to the other side here I can't really show you with one hand but there's a the connectors out there so at this point uh, you know make sure everything's clean and I'm, I'm not going to change these gaskets they look okay and uh, next thing I'm gonna do is set this intake back on oh, I also put that water connection hose back on um, but I'm gonna set the intake back on and start running the bolts down on it okay you don't want to get in a hurry um, just want to point out you know once you get the intake in place and I looked up the torque specs online and said it was 15 foot-pounds uh, and I'm sure it's a typical sequence where you start in the middle and work your way around and work your way out but um, just want to point out you know you got your uh, wires that go on your fuel injectors make sure those are in place at least on that side because once you put the plenum on and it covers all that up you'll never see it so that's the uh, that's where I'm at right now and I'm gonna put the plenum on and I'll worry about the wires on this side over here and these injectors later because they're still out in the open. So now I've set the intake plenum back on. Uh, there's only four bolts in that. Four, there's two, two actual studs and with a nut on them and then two Allen head bolts down in here. And those are also 15 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I did connect. There's a grounding strap back here. I can't show you but trust me there's one there. And then there's also a ground wire here and there's a second wire that is also in the, in the nearby area that has to go back on there. I know there was two on that one. Uh, I think it's a smaller smaller wire. But uh, just two things I also have to hook up on there. And then I will put the bolt back in this bracket down below on the engine block. That's that long bracket that supports the plenum. Uh, from there I will connect these wires up front here like I said. For the injectors and everything else and then i'll set the uh, throttle body back in place okay i've installed a throttle body there's three bolts one two or three nuts i should say three there's one underneath there there's a vacuum line that runs to the bottom of it uh, reinstalled the cruise control and the throttle cable and uh, a few other wires everything else up here is plugged up and put back in place it's definitely going better going together better than it came apart as a uh, you know because taking it apart you got to find all these little secret clips and bolts and nuts um, last step is to connect the airbox and it'll be putting both hoses back on the uh, throttle body connecting the various little hoses again color-coded and, and clipping up all the clips and uh, that should be it and we'll get it fired up and make sure it works okay everything's back in place all the lines connected on the air box and uh, let's fire it up I still have a check engine light, but I'm going to have to clear that code and see if that doesn't take care of it. I thought it had 280 and it has 240,000 miles on it. So. Sounds like it should, I guess. I'll clear that code, cycle it, 
We'll see if that takes care of it. Hopefully that's all it was.